Hi guys, it's Kelly. I have some things I wanted to show you. First, look at this album I'm making. <laughs> this is actually the biggest album I've ever made. This is just the outside of it, obviously. Um, and I'm doing a different type of covering. I have magnets under here that are drying. There's, I put five of them so that it would really hold. And I'm also, I have a latch, a metal latch system that I'm gonna put right there. Um, my pages are, I have to look. Well, the album is 10 by 12. Um, yeah, that was not fun to cover. Being, uh, you know, making it as big as I did, I didn't think about, I only had 12 by 12 paper to do the outside, so I had to kind of get creative and add some extra on there. Okay, these are, I think, nine by nine. Yeah, the, the pages are nine by nine, and I have seven of them, and I have their inserts already made. And she wanted um, this paper. What was this called? Mariposa. Yeah. Um, this is actually for one of my daughter's friends who she just graduated nursing school with. She saw the one I made with the Mariposa paper prior and she loved it and she wanted the same. So I was lucky to actually find some more uh, pads of Mariposa paper I bought too. So I make sure I have enough. So that's that, and this is gonna dry now, so these magnets hold good and tight. What I wanted to show you is I actually went to Tuesday morning a few weekends. It's been a few weekends now ago, and I only picked up a few things. There wasn't a whole lot of new, but there's these, these are wood from um, Jen Hatfield, and they're wooden pieces that have some gold and black foiling on some of the pieces. So there's like flowers and butterflies and leaves. And then there's the word thanks, hello, love, laugh, and home. So I thought those were super cute. And then they had a ton of different little boxes of wood shapes like this. And I liked these little frames and the sewing machine, the bird in the bird cage. There's the clock, um, key holes and keys a dress form and then these are um like cameos so i thought those were super cute they had all kinds of butterflies um one with just birds one with just geese um i also wanted to show you my hubby got me some magazines um i've always liked these magazines in the stores but i never really got a subscription to them for a while and um a while back i had them but it's been years so he bought me the paper craft inspirations and it came with this. Um, it's got butterflies and like shapes and then these stamps. And it says, thinking of you, sending love on your birthday. If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. And then let love grow. And I really like the uh, wispy, grassy type stems. And the, the little, what is that? The wish, we call it. The kids pick it up and they blow it. And then he got me card making and paper crafting. And this is the newest one that just came. And it came with um, Angela Pools Magic Windows Buds to Blooms. And it makes eight cards that you spin it and it goes from like a bud to into a flower. We'll see how, like from, from this to this. Whoa. So that ought to be pretty. Hello, what are you doing? I'm making a video. What you doing? All right, I'll be up in a minute. My hubby has been working upstairs all day. And then the last thing I bought was they had a bunch of Crafters Companion box uh, gift sets, I want to call them, for $12.99. They had, this one is a circle die cutting one. And I'll show you everything that came in it. Um, they also had quilling, uh, paper crafting, uh, something. Uh, so, like, stitching, uh, 
cross-stitching. We showed you all the different types of cross-stitching. I forget all the other ones that they had. But this comes with metal dies, eight of them, clear stamps, 27, card blanks, 21, 21 envelopes, pearls, ribbons, die cut toppers, printed paper sheets, and colored card sheet. So look how pretty. That's what's inside. And then this is what you see when you open it. And it says, thank you for your purchase. Be sure to visit the dedicated webpage showcasing how to get the most from this box kit. And you go to Crafter's Companion. And then as you open the pretty tissue inside, you get these pretty pearls. I love the colors. Let's see. You can see, you got these stamps. I don't know if you can see them or not. That's not dark enough. That helps, guys. Does that help? So, there's flowers and leaves. I'll just read. It says, happiness always, happy birthday, with thanks, love always, and love you so. And then it has a really pretty flower, really pretty leaves, and a nice butterfly. And then it has ribbons, and it's got two, two, actually there's three. Three things of ribbon three different colors other oh, different widths some are narrow some are a little bit wider and then the really wide ones I just noticed that and some more stamps this has a tree some really pretty um, what are the flowers my daughter likes dot they look like dogwood and the words just for you these ones I wish I could find a piece of paper you could see that better does that help? So pretty. They're really pretty. I'm horrible with stamps, though. I really... I mess them up every time. And these are the dies. I really love this. I didn't have anything with that um, scallopy edge. There's some really small ones and some big one, bigger ones. And then there's a package of just a bunch of sayings. Oh, my goodness. Aww. So there's these. So really cute sayings. And they're like cardboard. So they're not real thin paper. That's pretty. I watched her on, um, one time she was on, uh, what is it, where they sell stuff on TV, and they come on and do, like, crafting for 24 hours, and they'll sell all kinds of gift sets and dyes, and my husband bought me my, um, gold and yellow drawer thing, the things that connect to each other on top, you can keep stacking them. Um, and then they came out at, uh, at Michael's, like, really quick after that. Um, Michael's got them in, like, white and teal, and you can buy the base with wheels, and then you can just keep stacking them. Yeah, <laughs> we, we thought that was funny. So there's just white card blanks in envelopes, and then this size card bank, card blanks in envelopes, and then these as well. And then, in the bottom, I have two stacks. One is just, um, you know, like the regular sheets of pinks and yellows, cream and blues. And then this has uh, prints on it, so I'll open it and show you. So I know I haven't been on a while. I just, we've been so busy helping my daughter get this house ready. Um, it needed painted really bad. So it's got, let's see, two, three sheets of this one. Really pretty. I think it's probably going to be three of each, yeah. And then three of this one. That's really subtle, but it's really cute. Our house is coming along. Charlie's is uh, a real light blue, and it's horses. And she got some stickers that you can stick on the wall, vinyl. 
horses and she has them she has them like walking across the her headboard and then down she went to the baseboard and she has some walking there and then Kelsey took some and put them around the room but it's so stinking cute the way Charlie wanted them and then she's getting a big vinyl uh her initial cut or her name cut into like a horse's mane and head it's really pretty to put up in her room I'm not sure what the big girls are gonna um want for their room decoration but their um color is real light purple it's really pretty and then they made some stuff at my house to put up in their room too this piece is gorgeous isn't that pretty um yeah i really like that so i love the paper and it's really heavy it's good quality so that's nice this will be nice just to make a card real fast Grab some ink and tape, and you're done. Ugh. Let's see if I can get back in the packaging. So, I hope everybody's been good, and I miss y'all. And I haven't seen anybody doing any um, real, uh, like, except for Donna Drinks times three. I haven't really seen any. Um, Oh, challengers or anything. So, if anybody's doing one, let me know and I'll try to do it. It's been crazy, but I've been trying to get down here. I'm working on this album for my daughter's friends. So, that is keeping me very busy. But, it's, it's what I enjoy doing. <laughs> so, it's peaceful when I can get down here and just work for a few hours and brings me peace so my oldest daughter just told me um, about last weekend or the weekend before that her and her hubby are getting a divorce which we've kind of seen it coming um, off and on for the last five years it's been rough and I think that he just stayed because of their youngest boy is 12 now and he he wouldn't have done well five years ago, but he's handling it really well. And they're being co-parents. The best that it could have went is how it's going. They're very good being friendly, separating things in the house equally, letting him take what he wants. Um, he got an apartment that's literally up the street across a highway that's like four lanes with a turn lane in the middle. So. It's not super busy, but we call it a highway. They'd, he'd, he, Drake would only have to walk across there, and then he'd be on the same side of the road as his dad is on. And then he'd have to p pass by two businesses, a Burger King, and it's like a Kung Fu. Kids go there to learn Kung Fu. And then in the next lot is the, his dad's apartment buildings, and his dad's right there. So he's less than a two-minute walk from where his mom lives. So he wanted to stay close. He's involved with Drake on a daily basis with baseball, so he's still going to be at the house. He came to uh, Charlotte's birthday party the other day, sat beside Brandy, and um, when she went to the first baseball game after everybody knew that, there, that this was happening, um, everybody pretty much ignored her, wouldn't talk to her. Um, one lady actually got her chair and moved it so she didn't have to sit as close as she was to Brandy. So pretty much everybody took Adam's side, which he doesn't want that to happen. He doesn't want it, and he's actually gonna make, um, at the next game, home game, he's gonna make an announcement that if he sees that happening again, and he's not gonna point out the person, but he's gonna make sure they know. If he sees something like that happen again, he is gonna ask that person to leave. That him and Brandy have no problems with each other, and neither should anybody else. And that's the way he wants it. For his son to be the most comfortable that he can go to his mom or his dad in front of all of these people and not feel like he's being judged one way or the other. And I thought that was amazing that he's going to do that. He just really is thinking about Drake and Tori. He wants his kids not to feel ostracized in any way. And... Tori is not biologically biologically his, but he's raised her since she was like one. 
and she calls him dad. So he still said he's going to be a dad to Tori as much as she'll want him to be. And she wants him to teach her how to drive. So they're working on that now. So he's still going to be involved. And I think that's amazing. And that's the way it should be. I wish most, most people did it this way. But not all people can. But they're doing fine. Um, they're both talking to somebody else uh, on just starting, you know, feelers kind of thing. No dating yet. But they they need to be happy. They deserve it. They haven't been together for almost five years, really. They've lived in the same house. But that's it. So... I wish them both the best, the best. I want him to be happy and loved. I want her to be happy and loved. And he's still going to be part of our family forever. And that's just the way it is. So I feel that way about my grandsons or my son-in-laws. Most of them. Yeah, all of them. They would have to be part of our lives because of the kids. We have to be that way. We have to be the adults, right? It's not always easy, but I try. So, yeah. It's been it's been a minute. So, it's good talking to y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon. And this is Rambling Away. I'll let you see the album when I get it finished. And see you soon. Bye-bye.